to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The seeing eye, the hearing ear, that God can open the door of your eyes. And while you look at people, you can discern. I don't know what is in this man, but I'm seeing that the next four years, there is a grace that is coming on him. Please come. Let me be part of your lifting. So that while you rise, you will imprint in your mind that there is the memory of one who helped you. Listen. Don't come into people's future and expect, have an entitlement mentality when you did not contribute in their rising. We live in a very, very funny world. If you do not have the eyes to see men when they are in the cave of Adullam, do not expect to be invited when they are on the throne. It takes the seeing eye. I share with you a big secret tonight. There are many people who continue to get angry at the rising of others because they think i used to know him we were neighbors now you are a ceo why wouldn't you remember me but did you see it did you see a neighbor or you saw a prince on his way to the throne is god speaking to us yes, sir. Many years ago, when I was in the seminary, a great, great man of God, he was a reverend, stayed for many years in the U.S. He was like a father to me. That man looked at me and said, you are going very far. Wasn't really tongue-talking, you know, very charismatic. Respect people who can see. Let me speak to you, Yoruba nation. You have a heritage of sight. Don't kill it. God gave you the grace. There are fathers in this land. They may not be educated, but they can sit down and sketch your future and say, I have seen it. So when you fail within this territory, it's because your eyes were truly closed. Are we together? I've studied the history of the church in the West. I've studied a bit on the heritage of the fathers. My God, those men, they were not eloquent. Some of them were not educated, but their eyes were opened. They could see, they would sketch the future with digital precision and tell you this is how it will be. Are we blessed? We're talking about open doors here. So this man becomes great and he can remember that I contributed to his rising. When the devil wants to destroy you, he will reduce you to only see men in the flesh. Oh, this is my younger brother. This is my elder sister. How many women have lost great, great potential husbands because they could not see? As at the time the brother came, you saw a trouser of 500 naira, a shirt of 300 naira. That's all you could see. Because I'm not being sarcastic. And yet someone else looked and said, this man may not be able to buy Gary today. But based on what I see, this is a prince. Forget about what you see in the prison. And someone took the risk enough to say, let's go. Even though we cannot so carry today, I know what I have seen. Let's go. And when the man becomes, when you see the son of man in power and glory, he will now vow every time he looks at her, 
he celebrates the risk of sight that this woman was able to see enough and say no matter what you want even if it's to change a car for you every year i will do it there are people who saw certain men of god and even at that time they could not see any grace but as workers as members they looked and they had the power to see and they said no i am connected to this ministry i'm connected to this vision not just because i want to use the man of god to rise i truly love him genuinely but in addition i see that this is a fire that is rising and cannot be quenched and they stand still and they hold on and years come and you see them glorified and people are wondering why do you love these people so much because the eyes the door of their eyes were open to see hallelujah i remember a humorous story um, recently someone reached me and said i've been trying to reach you um you mean you don't know me honestly i couldn't even remember the person said i've been trying to reach you what is the meaning of this you know i've been trying to reach you this is how you people make things difficult are you trying to say you don't know me and i said oh dear these are the kinds of people that this message is for you see the ability to see my mother is one woman that god granted this grace to see right from when i was young this woman ah respect elders oh find the way of respecting elders not just because the bible says so but because in doing so you will be able to leverage on their power of sight they can sit down and see far and show you a road that when you follow it may not be pleasant but it will lead you to destiny hallelujah the door of sight the door of hearing the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town some people heard it others did not hear it because the door of their ears were shut and they could not come to receive the question i always ask is you know the blind man at jericho i hope you know he had the bible says he was blind the door of his eyes was closed but the ears were open and he had Jesus was passing. He said, ah, ah. Thou son of David. He took action because he could hear. There are many times people do not take action because they are not hearing. Is God challenging someone tonight? That when it's time to pray, more than just praying for money, more than just praying for increase, you must the real miracle believe me is not business exploits the real miracle is not more contracts the real miracle is open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things when the door of your eyes are open and the door of your ears are open you can stand beside a madman and know that he will be a prophet tomorrow and while everybody is running away you stand and have a track record there are people today their relationship is their stream of income you ask them what is your stream of income they say relationship and you dare not laugh at it because it is true they have invested in too many people to be poor to struggle their testimony is in the heart of every lifted person no great man ever forgets them because by the power of insight open eyes they identified great graces and lavishly invested in those graces hallelujah yes sir what seest thou he says the rod of an almond tree he said you have seen correctly this is proof that your eyes have opened the eyes of many people are closed believe me when i tell you this just because you are looking it doesn't mean you are seeing you can be looking and yet not see a destiny helper comes to pass you you do not see an anointing comes and passes you you do not see every good thing comes to pass you you do not see you call evil good you call good evil is proof that that door 
must be opened tonight. When I pray, I pray for my eyes. So, Lord, grant me the grace to see. And the thing about sight is, you can look at a person born again, filled with the Spirit, anointed, blessed, but you know this person should not be my destiny. Nothing is wrong, but because your eyes are open, it does not have to be a sinner. He does not have to be a dangerous person. For some reason, because your eyes are open, you know that no, this relationship will not be productive for me. You do not have a reason for it. Yet, that is the action you take. And five years will prove that your eyes were opened. Listen, believe, do you know what it means to be carnally minded? It does not just mean to be fleshly minded. It means to be governed by your senses that you do not have another faculty of perception and interpreting reality more than your optical eyes more than your impulses you must open the door of your eyes so that you can see so that you can discern hallelujah there are people i've seen listen i can look at someone truthfully speaking wonderful obedient and I look at you and say, this man is a rebel. Keep watching. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm a man of God. I love you. Stories. Keep watching. Preachers, you must pray for this grace this night. Otherwise, you will have episodes of pain. You will invest in people again and again and again and again. And at the end of it, you will find out you really do not have an army because your eyes were closed. You waste your energy on wrong people. Are we together? Yes. Very powerful. Esther, I mean um, Ruth and Naomi. You know that they were, Naomi and her sister had the same situation. And she went away because she could not see. And Naomi, Ruth held on to Naomi. said, I'm not going. I know what I've seen. I'm not, they said, go. He said, no way. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. And it was Naomi that advised her. And she met Boaz. That's not the miracle. She became part of the lineage of the Christ. Please listen. As I'm talking to you now, the Holy Ghost is going to be showing you opportunities that pass you because the doors of your eyes were closed. Relationships you should not have kept, but you kept them because you could not see. And today they are the sources of pain. And other you can see someone who is stubborn, rebellious, very, very rude. And God will say, still keep this person. And you are saying, God, I want to drive this person out of my church, out of my life. This, this level of stubbornness, I am tired. And God says, don't worry. Out of all that hundred days of stubbornness, he will give you one information one day that becomes a ladder to your next level. Have you seen people like that? They, they are, they are, they, you are embarrassed standing near them because staying close to them will make people doubt your Christianity. And yet God will say, stay there. There is still something in them. You will have a foolish house help that does not seem to be wise. Are we together? Fry egg. The person will cook yam. Do this every day. Do all kinds of wrong things. And you are angry, about to dismiss them. And God will say, do you not see? I brought you in this house because this girl may not be educated, but her grandfather covenanted with God that let my children's children, anywhere they go, bless those people. I brought this girl not for house help. I brought her as an act of favor. So if all you see, if your eyes are closed, you will just see a house help who is foolish in her decision. But if you discern the grace, one day you will call her and say, young lady, let me buy you a dress. And you tap into the covenant of her grandfather's favor and turn your business around. Was it not a little Jewish girl, a young maid, 
who told he said oh i look at you naman you are a great man but this aspect of your destiny she could see more than a leprous man but naman could see more than a slave girl too because he a captain a a warrior of an army and he saw a little girl let me show you a mystery that is killing many people in the body of christ their eyes are closed their ears are closed how many good things have you driven in your life because they came in packages that could not be seen hallelujah you are a ceo and the person who always cleans your office he came from a lineage of terrible prophets and although he's a cleaner he can see he knew when they dropped a charm in your table even though he was not there and he's been trying to say sir i know that i'm a cleaner i'm not worthy to talk to you but if you can give me two minutes my grandfather was a prophet i started seeing him before i got born again he will tell you and yet because you cannot discern he said look i have a business meeting sir i i had a dream i saw white men coming to your office i saw someone putting poison in your cup he said no 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 young boy go away he was sent to be a deliverer only disguised as a cleaner but because your eyes were closed people will come in from a place and kill you and you die the death of a fool because you could not see someone hold your put your hand on your eyes and cry god open the door of my eyes what am i missing why am i stagnated in one position open the door of my eyes oh god pray it doesn't take long for God to lift men but the door of your eyes must be open I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding be flooded with light that you may know hallelujah praise the lord now look at me you've heard my story years ago years ago pastor i loved god with all my heart i was already in ministry but things didn't just line up especially in the area of finances i went to buy something i think it was sugar cane and then i saw two women when i looked at these women see let me tell you god stores his anointing and his covenants in men many times the careers do not even know the heritage of what they are carrying hear what i'm saying if you are waiting for men to be conscious of what they carry before they give you you will never receive anything the same way we have mineral resources discovered or not they are still there there are spiritual resources distributed in men through tribes and families and the covenants that their forefathers entered with Jehovah. When David was going to fight Saul, there was only one, I mean, was going to fight Goliath. There was only one question Saul asked him, not who trained you. He said, whose son are you? I want to know the spiritual heritage you are coming from so that I will know whether you have the covenants that kills Goliath. Hmm. Because this Goliath does not fall just by training of Amory. There is a spiritual tribe that has a spiritual investment that can kill Goliath. So David, these are mighty men. 
men of war but they are not from that tribe whose son are you where are you coming from he said go and fight i know what your people carry do you know that there are men that are connected to dangerous spiritual covenants yes sir there are people who have a covenant with God and mama entered the covenant with God and said God I did not go to school but let my children not beg that was her covenant and you will watch somebody who is not born again not serious with God lawless and yet he will get a job he will be insulting God to his face and another job will come again and the person does not even know why things are working for him at least what I'm sharing with you tonight are deep mysteries of dominion hallelujah yes. Yes. and so watch this that you are able to discern what people carry there are times God introduces people into your life it is not the physical thing they can do he's introducing the covenant they represent physically they are not useful let me tell you the truth they are not useful in any way to you however God says to keep them there because of what is in them If you want to be famous, if God wants to lift you and announce you to the world from Nigeria, your feet must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abel Kuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abel Kuta gave birth to Lagos. Pray in the spirit for one minute. Yes, sir. Tonight is a feast of light. God is opening doors, showing you the mysteries that the eyes of men, men cannot see. Hallelujah. Sit down. Listen. When God wants to train you spiritually and God wants to build you to be a mighty army, your feet must touch the knot no matter where you are in this nation he will orchestrate an excuse and make your feet to touch the north it's a mystery the north prophetically is a spiritual training ground in mount zion the side of the north the city of the great king But when God wants to lift you, even if you are in Zamfara or Meduguri, he will find an excuse. Even if it means for your boss to break down in Abelkuta or your boss to break down in Lagos, you come out and you are walking and complaining. Why is this boss not walking? And heaven says, thank you. Now that your feet has touched there, you can receive of... Ah. Tonight, I teach you how to read the writings on the wall. It takes an open eye for you to see what you call disappointment, and you may not know that it is prophecy. Watch this. So you are an ordinary house help, and God makes sure you come to Lagos to serve a woman for just two weeks. And after two weeks, she will drive you and say, I don't know why I don't like you. Go away. And God says, Go. You you uh, you don't know the purpose of your being there because your eyes are closed if you see what transpired in the realm of the spirit there is almost no calm ground in the west that my feet has not touched it's prophetic 
Are we, are we together? <laughs> ah! People of God, we must pray that this door of our eyes are open so that we interpret the happenings in life. Do you not know? Watch this. There is a secret in the spirit. And that secret is that, you see, this John the Baptist, you see, John was a dangerous man. John was not just a Baptist though. John was the continuity of a spiritual program. John was Elijah. Watch this. So when Jesus showed up, when he looked at John, John said, I can't baptize you. He said, look, it's not your body I'm looking for. I'm tapping into a covenant. Because according to God's program, the Lord does not show up until Elijah goes before him. It's a spiritual protocol. That before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Elijah shall come. Now Jesus could not be manifested. So he looked for Elijah. He found Elijah. Listen. When you go to people who do divination, when you go to people who do divination, they will tell you certain things. Now, some of what they say, of course, is not scriptural. But notice, sometimes they will tell you, go and feed certain kinds of people. They are not just saying, go and give them food for nothing. They are saying, they may be seated as beggars, but they themselves don't know what is inside them. They come from a tribe that can lift, communicate honor. Because when, when they conjure powers, they don't see things in the flesh again. So they can tell you, buy a plate of rice for a madman. And he say, no, 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 this madman is not the madman. Even though he's a madman in Gadara, there's an evangelist hiding in him that can win 10 cities. Now, divination will show you the evangelist, not the madman. So people tap into those demonic things. You see, they still prosper because they manipulate spiritual laws. Of course, it will destroy them eventually because it's not routed through the office of the Christ. But I'm just telling you that it's a spiritual protocol. Hey, believers, wake up. Moving with life scientifically enough will cost you eventually. The days that we come in require that the door of your eyes be open. I'm buying sugar cane and I see two women stand in front of me weak looking old looking women and they're about to lose their this thing they tie to put money inside and I look at them and I'm compelled by my spirit to honor them I'm not sure it was more than 100 naira sir I just paid for them and they were blessing me blessing me blessing me god bless you god lift you and for some reason i didn't even pay attention to what they were saying and then one of the mama looked at me and said my son forever walk upon gold it's a realm of your glory it's a realm of your grace i can see your mighty power moving in this place we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings and like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing you are holy you are holy you are holy When it was time for Abraham to rise even though God wanted to lift him he could not just rise like that then one day he met a strange man called Melchizedek the king of Salem whoever told you that men are just bodies men are mysteries covered with skin if God does not open your eyes you can be married to your husband for 10 years married to your wife for 30 years and not know what was hidden there jacob was a prophet that never prophesied until he was about to die you can have four children and say well that's enough 
and yet in the realm of the spirit every time you sleep you see five children you say god forbid i rebuke that spirit i'm done giving birth i'm not ready to shout around any hospital again and yet the holy ghost is telling you the fifth child is the deliverer it's not whether you want children or not when the door of your eyes are you can suffer for the rest of your life in the realm of the spirit the child is saying why did you not allow me there is prophecy that must be fulfilled notice children that become great their parents will tell you we had stopped we never planned giving birth to you and sometimes god will find a way ah this god Are you getting blessed great man that's why I feel sorry for young men who do not have honor you see some of these are fathers and all the great ministries around they may not be as enlightened in terms of spiritual knowledge they may not be educated and articulate as we are but we will be joking if you dishonor their altars and dishonor the covenant they had with God some of these your fathers could not speak English was it not from Ekiti state I was coming I was coming back and I saw a little city there this city had mysterious grace for long life 132 years I saw 141 he just died I told the driver park because if you have the eyes to see park and we could not find anybody who was speaking English there but they were Christians I said please look for someone they found somebody with limited English and we said all right please look for the oldest man here tell him we are men of God that I'm here to receive the grace for long life you you cannot live 132 years by mistake in this wicked world no sir where did your enemies go to that you lived 132 years whatever grace made you surmount them I want it do you know why because I travel all the time and I know that the anointing on my life is a controversial anointing so look for long life fast before you die like a chicken I hope you understand what the Spirit of God is speaking to us listen when you know the blueprint of your destiny fish the graces that secure you quickly when you know your destiny will require you passing through fire when you know your destiny will require you passing through water find who makes a boat find who has a fire extinguisher add them before the journey starts so when I stopped there they got somebody I saw some women standing and I greeted them they interpreted for them and then eventually we went and there was one Baba he was not even looking too old nobody holding a stick nobody looking like they were dying what kind of grace is this in your Nigeria yet we say the oldest person in the world is 114 years uh -uh. come to Nigeria the home of mysteries Are we together and so they told the Baba they interpreted I've come to receive the grace for long life and he smiled he beckoned in Yoruba kneel down those who carry this thing know they have it all yes sir so you can be praying oh God bless me God will say I've blessed you but do you have the eyes to see where to come from Are we together? When I knelt down and that Baba was praying in Yoruba. I don't understand Yoruba. I honestly didn't care what he was saying. As he was praying, I felt like a crown physically come upon my head. When I was done, watch this. I got up and I saw the seed, appreciated him, truly honored him. I was going to go and enter the car again. Then I went to tell the women, thank you, the women that were gathered. And I now celebrated them and they told me the 132 year old man, he was a senior apostle, he just died, that that's his wife. I said, ah, 
I'm sure she'll be like 120 something and yet she was standing I said please let's go although he has died you are still he's still alive in you two have become one is that not what the Bible says I said let's go back you must pray for me she tapped me she said come we entered a room and she started showing me pictures that was the wife of his youth the wife of his youth when she was done it was time I said now she should pray for us she removed her shoes put her legs on the ground and said kneel down when a woman takes off her shoes and puts her feet to make contact I hope you know the earth is a point of contact the earth is a universal point of contact there are five elements that the supernatural expresses itself in them one is earth everybody's leg stands on the earth so the earth is a point of contact your destiny helper his leg is touching the earth now so he, you can use it as a point of contact and call them forth this woman stood on the ground and for 15 minutes or so she first started with a song in yoruba i honestly didn't know what she was singing all i know is that she was prophesying over my life ask my people whether the plane goes like this i continue to sleep do you know why because i've chosen life <laughs> do you believe what i'm sharing with you the first time i met your pastor when i looked at pastor it was farewell I saw that this man is a great prophet of God but let me tell you one grace I saw with your father he has a kingmaker anointing truly there is a grace on him that makes kings I saw that maker grace and I said no this man carries that grace you can be in this church for many years my pastor how are you sir I hope you are okay and never receive anything a stranger will stroll from Lagos and meander like someone who is missing and just come and say, Daddy, sir, I know you are a man of God, but you are a prophet of God. If you are in this church and God wants to lift you, there is a grace on your father for not just revelation, but confirmation. There is a real grace that confirms what God is about to do in people's lives. The question is, can you see it? hallelujah you look at a woman with 15 children one womb same woman 15 children firstborn governor second son vice chancellor third daughter consultant yet she didn't go to school you really think she can train those children like that no there is a grace you can be struggling with two children and package a seed and say mama you don't know my name and I don't know where you are coming from but to raise 15 children and none of them is an arm robber none of them is a prostitute whatever grace release it on me now mama may just laugh and say my dear son or my dear daughter towards the end of last year one of the women that was part of founding a great ministry in this nation abroad in a number of nations the Lord gave her an instruction to fly down to come and see me old woman successful children I just hear that this woman is around to see me towards the end of the year mommy God bless you she said my son God sent me to come because it's a season of strange lifting for you and God said I should just come just fellowship with you and that when you come to my nation i should be responsible for your stay for everything but i was wise enough to know that it's not just about staying in a house there is a grace on her that must be introduced into my life when i say i'm a product of many anointings it doesn't mean i'm a product of impartation for many men of god i am a product of impartation for many altars if you wait for men of God alone to bless you, you will not go very far. 
because the real people that bless men of God are not men of God the real people that bless men of God are in the secret go and read your Bible they are king makers a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the West the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house prays supports missionaries whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry be careful if all you look at is physical results because God hides great things that's why your heart cannot be seen imagine if a woman's hand is on her head a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby so God hid it inside I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs God hid it so when God hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret the more powerful you are in the spirit the more God hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the west here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time but as soon as you open the door they will call your name and say sit down let me tell you your destiny and you are wondering who is this they say young man you are going to be great but be careful on the ninth year of your life if you are not careful this will happen what i'm seeing you should fail but give me room let me go and tell god to change it that's how they will talk by the next day they will come they'll say i discuss with god you are free you will think it's a joke look those people knew god oh they knew god some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head they were not in a a, a If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister dosin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with, with God's servant. The same region. I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God they had. They were men. They had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, this should happen to you but i just discussed with god and he agreed to let you go they can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come i just flew in from europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and god will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then you correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with God I wish what I were saying were a lie but it is true Lagos hear me when God says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investment the real door is your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come i can look at this man and in the spirit i can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now i've taken advantage of open eyes but because i do not have character and i'm not serious with god i will prophesy to him call his name 
are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me Are we blessed the miracle of open eyes who is God lifting in January who is God lifting in March you must have the eyes to see it so that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man it is easy to rise when your eyes are open you will know where to channel your energy productively so you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising Are we together? The first day I saw your daughter, sir, F.A. Nathan. I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, ah, this lady is not just a worshiper. She's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. first day I met with Minister Dunsin, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again and to the open, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see is not just a son. He's continuing something ancient. The national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past. It's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own. Listen, do you know there are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It is true. It does not happen in all cases, but believe me, there are certain graces. There are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married. And God says, just do what I'm asking you to do. I am joining altars more than men. And two of you will bring a hybrid combination. The children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with and nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me i'm highly favored what is why didn't the spirit appear to say okay be patient as a husband just let me just use your wife to give birth to the messiah and hear me while all that discussion was happening joseph wanted to is in your bible to leave her and an angel appeared and said mr man don't you don't know what you are doing there is a mystery just be patient let them give birth to jesus you can have your children but be that father you are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know
Do you believe what I'm sharing? And so there are times that you will have every reason, every reason. In fact, there are some graces when you carry, you cannot relocate to certain regions. The graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions. So we will carry those graces. God will, he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn. So he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place. Do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person? He took him out of one city into another before praying for him. Jesus. I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church. Your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries. You just see people rising and here's what we say, you are lucky. I'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars, there are support systems that lift people. That's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is backing them. hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people He's a military officer. One time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this, my dear son, for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this, my son, out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true Otherwise, a day will come, songs will not come again. A territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months, inviting you every day to every meeting. After six or seven months, they will spit you out and that's the end of your career. But there are people who remain ever fresh. The secret, I tell you, you look at them, it's not necessarily their skill or prowess alone. They are tied to something that is ancient. You don't find the root on earth. You only find the body. The root is in the realm of the spirit. It does not die. Is God speaking to us? We are going to pray. I know that our time is gone. But we will pray. Before I begin to minister. Ah, this morning God will surprise you all. That... That you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. 
listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny i thought things would change in 2016 i thought things would change in 2017 but lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of jesus christ please where the instrumentalist just help me someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking please prophesy dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Kata Bakotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.